Well, back here in the Tri-State, we are still under a Storm Team 44 weather alert. Due to the frigid below freezing temperatures, we continue to experience outside. And our Storm Team 44 meteorologist Gunnar Consul is tracking what we can expect in Gunnar any let up potentially anytime soon. Well, the good news is, is maybe within the next 24 hours, we could see a few locations rise above freezing. Yes, I said it, that freezing point. We have been sub-zero at some point, and now we're talking about conditions being not sub-freezing, but above. That is going to be a sight for sore eyes. Now, we are dealing with different conditions in different areas right now. The US-41 Lloyd Expressway showing a lot of that snow that has fallen in Evansville has managed to thaw out just a little bit with mostly just brown grass showing in some areas. Now, there still is snow to be seen in Evansville, but not on those hills that are facing the sun. So even though temperatures have been frigid, you may not realize it, but now that we're in late January, we have the same sun intensity as about mid-November, which means that things are starting to be a little bit easier for the sun to melt that snow, even when conditions are below freezing. But I want to point out Owensboro. They got a good deal of snow from not just yesterday, but the night before as well. So they have a pretty dense snowpack, and it's going to be a lot harder for that snowpack to melt. The good news is, is for those who want to see that snow melt away, we could be seeing good melting conditions in the days ahead. Maybe only one day within the next seven, but still, that is going to be a benefit. Now, looking at this map, we are seeing a lot of sunshine, but... This map looks like it's gray and gloomy, but that's just the temperature that we're seeing. We're in the teens, which is this gray color, and I you know 11 degrees out towards Omni, 18 in Hartford. No matter where you are, it just feels awful and cold and freezing. Now, overnight lows are going to drop from those teens into those single digits, so we got about 10 degrees to go of cooling throughout the night. Now, I will say this is one of the colder nights that we've seen, but... We'll be making big improvements as we head towards tomorrow. Now, the thing I want to point out is temperatures are going to be so cold that any snow or ice that melted from either the sun, the salt, or a combination of the sun and the salt could refreeze again tonight. So we could have new puddles forming in some areas, especially if there's snow and ice on the side of the road. When it melts, it runs into the road and then refreezes. So just be careful of those black ice conditions. I know after the commutes today and yesterday, you've kind of gotten a handle for what spots are slick, what aren't, especially those rural roads. Now, feels like temperatures. We don't really have that much wind in Central City, so the feels like temperature is actually the actual air temperature. Now, we aren't as fortunate enough to be dealing with no wind because even though it's around 16 in Evansville, it feels like 2. Only feels like negative 3. But those feels like temperatures are only going to get colder throughout the night, feeling like negative 7 as we are heading out the door and pretty much setting up shop for the workday. Now, tomorrow, we will be reaching around 30 degrees, which is about 15 degrees warmer than today was, and today was only about 5 degrees warmer than yesterday. So we're making incremental improvements. We may see some nice thawing out, but we are going to be seeing cold air returning Friday into Saturday, so it's almost going to be as if the cold air never even left. So the risk for pipes bursting I would not say it is gone until we head into Monday and then surely by Tuesday. Now, we got another chance for snowfall Thursday evening into Friday morning. So we got some snowfall possible for our Thursday. Looks like it'll be impacting mostly the bluegrass through our Thursday. But then into the overnight, into Friday, we see that snow moving in towards the north. And we likely could see this throughout all of the tri-state. Right now, the chance of this happening is about 40%. But as we get closer and closer, we'll begin to get a bigger picture, a better picture, and a bigger and better idea on those snow accumulations. Now, the next seven days, you can see chance for snow Thursday, Friday, not really warming up and thawing out decently until Tuesday.